Welcome to the Prop Master's Handbook. Today, a safety note. Billy clubs are not for hitting people. They are for Keystone Cops to wave around while they give chase. What's a Keystone Cop? Find out in the closing. Materials for this prop include a half inch diameter dowel rod, several foam cup holders, cardboard, a handsaw, duct tape, electrical tape, rubber bands, a ruler, scissors, an X-Acto blade, and a pen or pencil. First, measure and cut the dowel rod to two feet. Next, use the two pieces of the dowel rod to draw a T-shape in the cardboard. It should stretch several inches in every direction from the intersection. Cut out the T-section and use it to trace and cut out a second. Cut a five inch section from the spare part of the dowel rod. Line it up so that it is six inches from one end of the main billy club. Lay the first cardboard T-brace on top and duct tape it to both the main billy club and the handle piece. Repeat on the flip side with the second T-brace. To allow the cardboard to curve, you'll need to cut a small snip at these points on each T-brace. Use more cardboard to trace and cut out strips of the remaining uncovered portions of the nightstick. Duct tape the piece on the nightstick and repeat for the other side. Cut slits along the strips to curve the cardboard. If necessary, cut small strips for the end of the nightstick and tape them in place. Wrap the intersection point with several layers of duct tape for extra stability. Rip a length of duct tape down the middle and use the narrow strips to cross lash the intersection point. Cut the bottom out of a foam cup holder and measure a length around the bottom of the billy club. Cut out the length and duct tape it around the dowel rod. Try to ensure that the edges all line up before you tape or you'll get one section that's flat instead of round. See the difference? Repeat this process for the rest of the nightstick. You may need to cut shorter pieces for the two ends. Leave the end of the handle without foam. We'll get to it later. For the intersection point, cut a small narrow portion and place it around the 3 fourths space around the handle then cover it with duct tape. Tightly wrap the entire nightstick in electrical tape. Cut small pieces to cover the ends, then wrap around the dowel rod a couple more times. Wrap several times in duct tape around obvious seams and then rewrap in electrical tape to get as even a look as possible. Next, cut six circles to these dimensions. Draw a half inch circle in the center of each and use an X-Acto blade to cut them out. Remember to exercise caution when using an X-Acto blade. Stack them at the end of the handle in this order. Two two and a half inch circles, two two inch circles, and two one and a half inch circles. Cover the piece in duct tape in all directions. Next, remove this cap and wrap a rubber band tightly around the nightstick. Roll it down to the intersection point and repeat this for several more rubber bands. Place the cap back on the end and roll the rubber bands out of the way so you can attach it to the nightstick with electrical tape. Be sure to cover the entire cap. Wrap the area just below the cap a couple more times for extra stability. Roll the rubber bands back into place so they are all equidistant from each other. Wrap each rubber band in electrical tape. Add more rubber bands on the short end of the billy club. Cover them in electrical tape. And there's your finished billy club. Thanks for joining us on the Prop Master's Handbook. Keystone Cop is the term for the bumbling cops often seen in the silent films of the early 1900s. See you next time.